Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Making It with Marshall. Today we're going to be doing a Dutch pour. You're going to need some water, you're going to need your paints, and you're going to need Flood Flow Trill with a proper strainer on it because it gets a little bit chunky. So you're going to fill up your cups with the colors that you like and uh, you know what colors you're going to make with the colors that you have. And you're going to do about uh, half and half of the paint and the Flood Flow Trill. Um, once you get it all mixed together, obviously you get a better strainer than me, you get some new pantyhose there and cut it up. Once you do that, you're going to add a little bit of water to each. Not a lot though, depending on what you're trying to do, but I added way too much so my paint was way too thin. I am been doing this for like, I don't know, three years and I still don't know how to do it apparently. So you mix all your colors up, wipe it on your shirt because what else are you going to do? And you're going to stir and listen to your fiance talk about her interview today at her job. And once you get done mixing all that stuff up, you're going to want to take everything off, get yourself centered, make sure you're ready to go and ready to pour. You're going to want to keep the little stirrer that you use, not throw it on the ground like I just did, but you're gonna wanna keep it and then you're gonna wanna try and find a center line and dump down either side. You don't have to do exactly how I'm doing and obviously my paint is way too thin again. And so you're gonna grab that thing that you just threw on the ground that you can't find now and you're going to get it all the way to the edges, make sure everything's looking all pretty and stuff. And then you're going to put, since this is a very small canvas, you're gonna wanna put a tiny amount of each color. I put uh, way too much of each color on there and it's, you will be able to see it doesn't really look like a Dutch pour, it looks more like a dirty pour. So I have a torch to blow out all the bubbles that you're going to see. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it just makes it a little better. So I put in way too much as you can see and normally you do put some on either side there, but uh, in this case I did not really need to. So you're going to get your blow dryer or you could just use a straw, whatever, you're, whatever you fancy. You're going to try to blow the colors back over itself. And then once you do that, you're going to blow out the sides and try and make it look like Dutch pour, but then just mess it up completely because there's way too much paint on your canvas. So obviously if this canvas were a little bit bigger, it would look more like a proper Dutch pour, but since I suck at painting, it kind of just looks like crap. But uh, yeah, so you get the basic idea of it. So thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.